What a world, DJ on the mic and birds the word, baby, because we are rocking in with our BT13 bird profile for you because it's got some new tools and it's looking hella spicy right here. So if this is a video for you as I go through my tech, strats and all that good stuff, then stick around and enjoy. And if you are new to the channel and like what you see, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell because I do videos on the reg. So the bird deck, what, what, like, what, what's been going on? And let's just say when it first initially got released, it, it, there wasn't much going on. I don't know what Bandai thought was cooking, but they better go back in the freaking kitchen and really start stirring that bad boy up because, yeah, it just was a bit half-baked strat. It didn't know what it was going, what it was trying to do, but with this new support, it definitely fleshes out the rookie lineup, your champions, and also your ultimates. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get another mega, but we've got enough megas that we can actually somewhat get a strat or at least cover some weak areas that it initially had so let's go over to the rookies uh, the rookies the eggs so eggs is just gonna be your going on a standard i do feel like this is the best egg for um phoenix mom just because the yokomon like as much as it's about being deleted Sometimes you just never really have that spot where you get in the full benefit of being deleted. It does require a little bit, of, little bit of setup. So being able to just attack and draw one if you're at 6k or more does help massively to get your pieces. So I do prefer personally Gurimon as the main egg for this particular build. And that's all we have, just four eggs as standard. Going on to the rookies, we do run a sweet 12. It has to be the, obviously, the BMR from BT11. This is going to be like your primary search and also getting your tamers out as well. You can net two cards, which is going to be helpful for your strat. And then on the deletion, you're able to uh, gain memory if you have a tamer out, a red tamer out in play, which obviously our main strat is about getting those tamers out. So we do run that there at four. Then we go in with the new Biamon from BT13. This is such a strong card right here because on play, uh, if played with an effect, you may return one of your Kirsty Damon uh, cards to your hand and digivolve this into a Garudamon in your hand, ignoring its digivolution costs and its re digital requirements, which is just so strong it's just a warp digivolve which is pretty sick and can really get you back into the game uh, especially with the kirsty tamer that we do have or christy uh tamer that we do have uh which is just going to help us massively so ideally you do want to be in that for and then on deletion draw one which is just not conditional to having a tamer out it's just you die you draw one beautiful that's what we like to see so then in terms of the other rookies that are kind of the out of the archetype we do run a nice starter deck seven agumon um the reason why is just that nice additional 2k dp when swinging at the uh at the player is going to be helpful for us just means that our megas are going to be just a little bit more powerful in regards to you know swinging with phoenix one for 11 at least we're going to be swinging for 13 which is just nice so we do run a cheeky two of them and then we run the solomon just because roll knights is a thing <laughs> we need to make sure that we can somewhat just hard counter their strats or at least slow them down so we can actually gain some momentum and do what we need to do in order to you know get that board presence uh with phoenix mons and obviously the bird swarm so that concludes the rookies we do run 12 so going on to the champions, we do run a solid 10. So we go in with the BT1 Bergeron. The reason why I like this is because you're able to gain additional security attack. Uh, and this is one of your Digimon. So the, the ideal scenario is going to be if you swing in with your Phoenix Mon, uh, do one check. With that, it will trigger Phoenix Mon's effect to basically spawn out a bird a bird digimon which obviously is going to be for us this bad boy right here you play this and then you're able to give phoenix mon an additional check which will then continue phoenix mon's attack in order to do additional one which is just really nice it's kind of spicy you've got a nice bit of ball presence you've got a, you got a champion out which then you can obviously push into an ultimate just to kind of finish up turn or you can throw down a christy 
and then put the on deletion effect on there as well. So it's really cool, uh, the interaction that you can kind of do and the combos that you can create and the amount of aggression out of nowhere. Uh, so I do value the BT1 Bergeron. Then we do run the staple, which is going to be your BT11 Bergeron. Uh, this is just a nice blocker. On deletion is pretty solid as well. You're able to play a red tamer uh, card with a play cost of four less from your hand uh, without paying its cost, which is going to be good for just kind of setting up a mass amount of tamers, uh, depending on obviously what your stack's looking like. So you do want to be running that at four. Uh, just that blocker is going to be helpful to just kind of keep it in the game. And then the new freaking bird joining the roster is the Aquilamon. This is pretty solid for that. So that's a little bit of board control uh, on play and also when digivolving. So you can really utilize when you want to be using this. Is that you're able to delete the opponent's free, uh, opponent's Digimon with 3k DP or less. So, you know, get rid of those rookies, get rid of those floodgates. Uh, it's, it's useful. It does come up. And then on deletion, nice draw one. Beautiful. You'll be drawing, netting quite a few cards. Uh, which could be helpful for us to get those tamers. So then we conclude with a solid 10. Then we go to the ultimates, which we are running an 8. So, good to go in with the BT11 um, Garudamon. This is pretty solid in terms of being a big beefy blocker at 7k, which is going to be nice. And then the on deletion is similar to the Bergeron, be able to play that 4 cost uh, red tamer. Uh, which is going to be helpful once we've obviously got hero kind of established that's obviously going to be our memory fixer then at least then we can use the uh, uh, Akiho and also the Christy from this effect just kind of building up that nice little bit of uh, board presence to make Phoenix Mon's uh, undeletion effect a lot more potent so we do run that there obviously at a solid three then we do run a cheeky one of of the great Leomon. I still find nice bit of value with this. Obviously, it's going to be nice. We've got raid with 7k it means that you got a bit of board control, which is kind of nice. Uh, as well, it's inevitable is saucy because if my attack was going to be switched, I'm able to trash the top card of security, and this does count as say if the opponent was going to block me, my attack is technically switched, which means that I will be able to trash that security card. And obviously, still kind of obliterate their their Digimon uh, if I'm obviously in my in my Mega. So really good stuff here. We do want a bit of board control while still being kind of aggressive, which is which is all good. Uh, so we do run that as a nice one-off, and then <laughs> finally Bandai printed some freaking sauce. So we do go in with the BT11 Garudamon. This is exactly what they needed. Honestly, if they just print out a bird one that did the similar thing. This deck will be popping off. I kid you not. The main thing with this deck is getting your tamers out. And this is what this freaking mon does. Does it on on play? Does it on when digivolving? Such a powerful card right here. This is just setting up tamers for days. Setting up tamers for days. Obviously, it doesn't play our, um, our heroes. But it plays our key ones that we do want to be going out with. And then on deletion. Nice little bit of, once again, a bit of board control. This enables, enables us to essentially delete the champion. Uh, obviously with 6k DP or less, which is just great. Abs Honestly, this is the card. This is the card the deck needed. Give me a pre-stamp and we are happy days. So that concludes the ultimate lineup. So let's go over to Megas. Megas, obviously our key card right here, which I'm just going to fly straight onto, is going to be your Phoenix Mon from BT11. Such a good card. Just that when Bandai printed this bad boy and released it, it just was not spicy enough and just didn't have the support to kind of get it moving. But this really is your, you know, the, this is when you're at Phoenix Mon, you're going to be popping off some some rotten. Because your turn, um, when, uh, when a card is removed from the opponent's security stack, you may activate one of the Digimon's uh, on deletion effects. So, effectively... Say with this, you can technically trigger this twice if you was going to be deleted uh, by the card that's been revealed in the stack. So you initiate, once it's revealed, you initiate its effect. Uh, it's when digivolving effect, when digivolving, when deletion effect. So depending on obviously your tamer setup, you can be obviously summon out your, summon out your Phoenix Mons and, and, and whatever, which is, which is going to be sick. Um, and then... If it was going to then die, then you're able to trigger its deletion effect <laughs> again, which enables you to play a red Digimon with avian, bird, beast, animal, uh, or sovereign uh, in its traits uh, and 3000 DP or less 
without paying its cost. And then for each red tamer, you're able to increase the threshold of that by uh, 2k. Which, once again, because we're going to be building out that that, that glorious freaking tamer, tamer state that we want. Getting up to your champion mega ultimate should be fairly easier now. Um, obviously, it's still going to have its, its issues, but it's definitely a lot more easier to perform, let's just say. So, ideally, being the main card of this whole deck, you want to be running that bad boy at all. Then, we do run, still, our boy is going to be Mars 1. I still, I still love this card. This card is still great. It's, it's, it fits within the deck, and it's tamer um kind of board state because you're able to gain memory back um and unsus and unsuspend which is just going to be good for you to kind of get some once again some mad aggression board control which is going to be great you can raid which is going to be awesome you can blitz it's really a strong card for this deck and i do run it at two because it does come clutch if you can't get into phoenix mon at least then you can get your mars mon going on and just kind of utilize the raid effect just to kind of control which is which is going to be helpful for you um and this essentially you know if you manage to survive <laughs> into the next turn um obviously if it's going to be raiding you're going to be getting that memory back it's actually giving you memory to essentially recover your line in the back or get a second line going uh with the with the memory that it's got while still essentially uh controlling that board so we do want to run that there too then lastly we do run the shikiao mon uh which is going to be the one of so this is essentially going to be a panic button if they go wide this boy or girl <laughs> is going to be putting in the work because essentially it puts you in a more like a dual state so the opponent chooses one of their digimon and then you basically you delete all other digimon uh that that your opponent uh that basically it'll literally just be this digimon and the opposition's digimon so it does delete your digimon as well which is pretty crazy but we do have amazing on deletion effects if we happen to build kind of wide which we can definitely reap the rewards of then uh when you're when an opponent's digimon is deleted uh this is one gain security attack plus one for each for the turn for each of your opponents is one that are deleted so like i said if they've gone wide <laughs> this guy is going to be doing some mad checks <laughs> mad checks right there which is nice a nice little panic button uh which is sick and then we've got like cool kind of interactions that can kind of help us maintain that board board presence with the with the tamers which we're going to obviously go into but that concludes the mega lineup right there we do run a solid seven uh, so then, let's go to the Tamers. Tamers have a quite a big importance in this deck. Uh, so it's going to be your memory setter hero. This is just going to be great for obviously one being a memory fixer. Two, uh, if we're at a level five or higher, we're able to spend this Tamer and gain two thousand DP for the turn, which is going to be great for us. Means that we're just going to be swinging a little bit higher. It's going to be good for our Marsmon just to kind of swing over bigger bodies, uh, which is nice. So we do run that there too. Then we do run the BT11 Ahiho Akido. Ah, 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 God, it does not roll over the tongue. Uh, this is going to be obviously like your consistency kind of tamer. Uh, throw it down for free. Reveal top four. Able to add one Digimon uh, with vaccine its traits, which is going to be nice. It means that we can actually actively grab our Solomon, um, which is which is quite nice. Or grab a Beamon, which is obviously going to be helping us in towards our game plan. Uh, and then the, the the main bit, what makes this deck run, is essentially its uh, second ability. Which, if uh, when you play a red team, a red Digimon uh, with Avian Bird Beast Animal, a Sovereign, uh, in its traits by effects, by suspending this Tamer, that Digimon gains Rush. So obviously the interaction between this and Phoenix Mon really helps out because you are going to be playing that card by an effect. Uh, which enables you to gain rush, obviously, because we do have Kirsty, uh, Kirsty, Christy, uh, Damon. She's able to put on deletion effects, which enables us to play out a Beomon uh, from hand or trash, which synergizes with this because it is a card effect, meaning that you can effectively gain that, give that rush. So it's really cool kind of interaction that you can do with both cards. Uh, 
Really, really cool. You want to be running that at four. Obviously, slam this down as many times as you can. You'd be, you'd be laughing. Only bad thing about this card is the fact that it can bottom deck your tamers. A little bit annoying. So make sure when you are utilizing this, just ensure that you've got the right, you've got a good set of tamers in order for you to execute your plays. Um, they really need to print a tamer with vaccines trait. That would be freaking nice. <laughs> or, yeah, or essentially reword the freaking search effect in that sense because it has to be one red Digimon with vaccine. It could just be one, <laughs> one card with vaccines traits. Uh, would have been sick. Uh, but hey, ho. Now let's go into Christy Damon. This card is. Mwah, Beautiful. We love a starter main, guys. We love a starter main. Start the main course. Uh, if you have a Digimon with avian or bird in one of its traits, then gain one memory. Oh, yes. Yes, give me that memory so I can execute some plays. The issue that I found with this deck initially was the memory. The memory, sometimes it was very hard to so you build up quick enough. Uh, at least with this, if you combat up with a hero, you're kind of getting some decent memory. If you've managed to get two of these girls, two of these tamers out, you're freaking cooking. You're absolutely cooking. You get to five memory, which is which is nice. And then you're able to obviously uh, do it on play, uh, which is nice. It's going to be when one of your Digimon gains on deletion, you may play a Beamon from hand or trash without paying its cost. Until the end of your opponent's turn. This card is just such a good like turn ender. Because it's essentially just any Digimon that ga that gains this on deletion effect. So if I if I go into Marsmon, uh, and obviously do the cl clearing out and everything, cleared out their board, you know. Marsmon Marsmon's gone brass knuckles on this bad boy. And then I'm just like, ah, freaking two memory, throw down the Cursey Damon, give that on deletion and be a mom. If they can have to deal with that, because Either you don't deal with it, and my boy's just going to be fucking punch you even more, or you deal with it, you've passed turn, and effectively, you're going to be faced off with a freaking Beamon, which is going to be annoying. They're going to have to have the answer in order to kind of check that whilst keeping turn uh, be, being the thing. So it is a really good card to add a bit of pressure and just make your opponent think a little bit. Uh, with the interaction with the new Beamon, it's really, really solid. I do like the whole bounce back, uh, warp into Garudamon. You could use the freaking new Garudamon that plays the tamer. You could play Kirsty Bat that gives it on the on deletion effect. Really cool, really cool interactions. Um, <laughs> right there, really solid. I'm really excited. For, I'm really excited for that tamer, as as you probably can see. So that concludes with the tamer lineup. We do run the the, the good old solid uh, eight. No, is that eight? <laughs> I don't think that's eight. Why well, got a count? <laughs> uh, that is going to be nine. There we go. <laughs> Christ, it's been a long day, guys. So going on to the freaking options so obviously it's going to keep it nice and light so oh this was a quite a tough one it was essentially what do i want to run to be just like a kill card and initially i was like guy force just nice i can pick my target boom it's expensive granted but i can make sure i can pick a target and ensure that the opponents are going to work around what i'm going to be doing uh, but then i was like well trident trident gaia pretty much does the same thing as gaia falls if not better the reason why is that you're able to delete one of your opponents to join with the highest dp uh which is kind of what you want you want to get rid of that big threat and then if that digimon with 3000 dp or more was deleted trust top card of your opponent's security stack which is absolutely winning it puts a it puts your opponent in a bit of a sticky situation of oh damn <laughs> now i have to somewhat Changed my strategy because I thought I was sitting pretty comfortably, but now I'm at zero security, which is a which is a little bit, a little bit annoying. So we do run that at one, though this could be any form of deletion. It's completely up to you on that one. We do run a nice two red members. If we did have the offensive like the training cards, it, that easily would have been this. Um, but I do feel like banking a bit of memory does help with your power plays. Granted, it does, once again, bottom deck your tamers. 
uh, which is a little bit annoying. I do think Rowdy Rocker might be a good shout. At least kind of stack up some of your some of your champions underneath to get more deletion effects. But sometimes the memory does really help, despite obviously us bottom deck in tamers. Um, it just means that we can extend our plays and kind of go hyper aggressive, or at least enables us to kind of use a user members play out a tamer to make Phoenix Mons effect a lot more potent so we do run that there too and then the nice little spicy tech which is going to be the high speed plugin this i think this people sleep on this <laughs> a lot in this deck because the annoying thing with phoenix mom is that it has to check it like it has to physically check security in order to get his on deletions off or obviously it card crashes and gets deleted um which sometimes you get like it's being deleted is fine but if it's at a point where you've not really gained that much it's it's, it's not that great it's not that great but high speed plugin definitely helps you secure you doing the check you're gonna live through that check uh which is nice it is very nice because it means that realistically the opponent needs to needs to get rid of your phoenix mom in <laughs> the next turn which is obviously going to give us some mad gains uh so this gives it jamming it means that your phoenix mom can't be blocked either um obviously that does not count for redirect redirect you that will still trigger a new attack will be redirected into them but they cannot block you this could come pretty clutch when you just on that last swing. The last swing and then foul block like that. Yeah, cute. Uh, high speed plugin. <laughs> and, then, and then go for game. It does come up. It's a security effect. pretty nice as well. You just draw one and then add this card to hand, which is just, once again, really solid. You can't really go wrong. Nice little cute tech. Um, if you didn't want to run that, I'd probably just bump up the... Uh, either bump up the, the red memory boost or slap in another uh, kill card. But it's completely up to you on that one. But guys, that is your boy done blimey it is hot up in here man uh i tell thee i <laughs> tell thee and i mean as i'm running nine tamers christ alive i don't know why i can't freaking count guys i honestly it's been a hard day but, <laughs> but if you enjoyed the deck profile smash it with a like a standard let me know what you think to the bird deck let me know what you would kind of tweak i know obviously try on them on um that was a solid card that i did run in my initial build uh pre bt13 uh, that could make a resurgence, but I do value the the, the bird one could definitely come freaking spicy and keep it all inconsistent. Uh, keep it consistent in that sense. But stay safe, stay fly, and I'll catch you next one. DJ Dread off the mic.